So have you met my husband? You have? Wow! He's got stuck in a bog. <laughs> this is going to be entertaining. Um, spare of the moment, we are off to the chateau um, for the night. Dinner booked at eight. It is about... It's, I think it's actually 4.15 now. So we're just off now. Let's go. Doesn't get more iconic Kiwi than this. This is our room at the Chateau. A lovely view. Oh, we have Narahoe right out there. Oh. I'm going to get changed and put some makeup on and go and have a cocktail. So we are ready. Ready to rock and roll. We are all scrubbed up. Makeup, dress. I have my GoPro handbag. I haven't got a dress, I've just got a shirt. Let's go. Very beautiful. They had somebody playing the piano earlier, but not there anymore. Morning. Good morning. Um, so it is Sunday morning. We are going to try out a, another metal road. This one is called Turakina Valley Road. But I think it's about 80k long um, to Martin and then come back up home. And that's about between 450 and 500k, depending on which way we go back around the lake. Did you not bring a map? A real map? Mm. Of course. Well, you should have shown it on there then. Oh. Hey, do it when we get back. Yeah. Um, so there is a little kind of shack that we remember when we were camping last year on the bikes just down the road that does a mean breakfast burger. Um, and it's about 10 bucks compared to like $35 for breakfast here. So guess where we're going? Okay, let's go and find some breakfast. We are going to possibly go up to Mount Ruapayu and then hit the road. fields and you can see the gondolas are just going up now but they actually don't open until 10 otherwise we would have gone up um pretty cloudy so you can't see a lot uh nick's there on the sign give us a wave honey perfect and we are going to head off down that way now and look at the spectacular view as we go
close to the centre line there, Rebecca. Tat, tat, tat. You should know better. Okay, so here we are on Terraquina Valley Road. No idea what to expect from this route. So, 80 kilometers of gravel. Here we go. Local sheep on the road. It's okay, girls. I haven't come to chase you. <laughs> How are you going to get out of this? Do you want a hand? Hello? Hello kids! I bet you don't get very many visitors. Have you met my husband? You have! Wow! He's got stuck in a bog. <laughs> this is going to be entertaining. Obviously, if we're going to have a uh, roast spit later, uh, all the boys are looking at us ready to rock and roll. Uh, just a quick update. Um, stop for a bit of water. Beck stop there. Probably the uh, best decision she's made because uh, I decided to think uh, I knew better and uh, pull in up here. And then, obviously, um, it's not the best place. Uh, it's dried mud, but obviously the stock have been here. You can see that. And a uh, bit of wheel spin going on. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, but anyway, the um, new tyres, I have to say, are performing really well. Uh, we've got these TK 80s, TKC 80s. Good bit of traction, giving me a heap more uh, confidence. I've got a 70 on the back. Oh yeah, yeah, another new purchase. <laughs> Just one of many for Beck's uh, update. Is uh, Beck's Bark Busters. There you go. Now I can fall over and not break my handles. Well, we're, we're not going to try, are we? Are you going really? to show them my inappropriate for this kind of terrain And tires? Um, Beck's tyres, which will get replaced uh, Tuesday with something very similar to mine. Um, yeah, yeah, still sort of uh, wandering around over the road because of the lack of traction. But anyway, we'll uh, cut it short there because this has gone on long enough and uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Less talking, more riding. Now, Nick, I'm pretty sure I spotted lollies in your pocket. Do you want to share? I've got no lollies. Lollies. Oh, lo lollies. Mentor. Sweeties. Come and meet my friends. They're very cute. Very handsome boys, aren't you? Hmm? They're wondering who on earth are these two strange people that turned up on bikes. Mm. Get up on your feet, this is a shakedown. Order up that beat just like a takeout. Show me you got soul inside those new shoes And you can rock and roll with the attitude So good, so fresh 
just the way you like it. Just to look at the view. On the top of the world. So all that is a man or two. Lunchtime. We're at the Brown Sugar Cafe. And we have some acacia with chicken and cheese. Very nice. We are the way home. Come on, you have to admit, New Zealand is an amazingly beautiful country. Look at this. Just wow. This morning we were riding through farmland. This is a shakedown. Okay, and we're home. Um, really good day, really good riding. Um, I really want my um, more off-roady tyres now, like next week, so that I don't fish hail constantly on the gravel. Right, so now the plan is to see how many vegetables I have in the garden, fix them for dinner, and I can have some tea and rinse the bikes off. I think I might just wash them tomorrow. All good, right. Good to be back. I'm going to turn the alarm off so it doesn't wail at me and send for the police. <laughs> and I will, after I've done this, I'll no, just write up on the map look. where we've been today. Um, catch you later. Ciao. Have a good day. Okay, as promised, um, just a quick showing on the map and I have different color pens now to fill in and and also at the end of this video I'm going to put some pretty controversial footage that we took um, when we did the metal road the ATK one we actually met a group of um, adventure gravel riders coming the other way and over 50% of them were riding really dangerously cutting corners and nearly took us off twice and I actually got one of those on video and I put it on because I feel so strongly about this you know ride safe people respect everybody in the road especially yourself or you're gonna get killed but anyway here is the footage or the map and showing which way we went so we started off home and we went down the eastern side of the lake um, to Turangi and then we cut through this road here and then up here to the chateau. Um, the next day we rode down um, opposite the um, memorial again and then we took a metal road that followed this river all the way down. We got about here and then we took some back roads to Hunterville and that's where we did the nice view and then we just rode the um, State Highway 1 had lunch at Thai Happy um, beautiful footage of the mountains here and then rode all the way back again so until next um, time hopefully next we are hoping to do this area around here um, camping as well so we will see you then. Yeah, they're cutting the corners. It's really bad. <laughs> 